Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just I it's very common that I forget where I where I am on these charts because they're so similar in many ways. Um, like right now I'm on A. I just finished C. Uh, but so, okay, when I was at C, I was like, did I play C A or C G? And I wasn't sure. Um, and now I'm on A, and I know by the time I get to around A D, that I'll start confusing the A's with the C's, or even the A's with the G's. Yeah. Um, I doubt many people understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I do. You? So, do you know anything about pedagogy? I don't know what that means even. It's uh, basically the uh, academic work behind how education is taught or whatever. Okay. So, like, behind the learning process and how to be a good te teacher and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, I was just wondering if you had any scientific, like, so, so obviously it's based on the scientific model, uh, but it's also somewhat, um, <laughs> it's trying to improve the way schools function, so kids learn better. So in a way, it's almost like rebellious against the current like model, the current education model. Okay. But its ultimate goal is just to so we everybody has a better time learning, okay. which okay. isn't really rebellious. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so I was just wondering, like. Um, Obviously, if I spent an hour, like, say these videos last an hour, if I spent an hour learning one chord, like, just one, you know, I'm doing, like, I don't know, I would guess maybe 20 to 50 chords in the course of my practice. Mm -hmm. But if instead of doing 20 to 50 chords, I uh, just did one chord for an hour, yeah, um, that, that, that would create a very solid... I, like that would be a very solid learning of that one chord, yeah. Because of the, the time and effort devoted into it. Right. So what I'm doing now is going through C A G E D. Yeah. And uh, each letter um, has like at least six chords within it. So basically, what I'm saying is I'm learning in bulk. Okay. It's like a bulk learning thing, yeah. as opposed to like a single, like narrowing into one single thing. Okay. And I just wanted to know if you knew anything about like, um, I don't know how 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 bulk learning progresses or like you know. Not really. <laughs> Sorry. But but the the. Uh, What you would basically assume is, since you're learning in bulk, you, everything you learn would be going at a certain speed, which is slow. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you were focusing on one thing, um, the speed would be very fast, comparatively. Yeah. Um, but mm -mm. not necessarily, because you can only say one thing over and over and over a certain number of times. No, but by saying one thing over and over, you like solidify it in the brain, right? Well, yes, but there's a lot of things involved in, involved in learning. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to know if you knew anything about that. No, I don't really know much about learning theory. Mm -hmm.
exactly was your question? Uh, it's just like a general, it's just a general statement that I'm learning things in bulk and is there things I should be aware of? Like, I just, I, I assume the over, like, if, if, if I were to like quote, perfect mm -hmm. um, what I'm learning that in bulk, it would take say like three months, whereas if I were to perfect like one single chord that I spent, like spend the same amount of time and energy on one chord versus like 20 chords. Okay, if, if, if I had to, are you saying which would take longer to do each one sequential and get together? I'm, I, I don't, I just want to discuss the idea. Well, I, my, I don't know, but my guess would be that if you do one chord and then get it perfect, and then yeah. do another one, versus trying to do them all at once. I think trying to do them all at once will actually be better. Okay, yeah, that's that's basically what I was... That would be my guess. Okay. guitar people in the guitar store, that sounds stupid, anyways, <laughs> uh, I saw a lot of people who I assume play guitar in the guitar store um, with band-aids on their fingers and stuff like that. I got blisters on my fingers! Yeah. Oh, now I sound like an idiot. Oh. <laughs> no. I assume you could keep playing with the band-aid on. Probably. In fact, that might actually be easier even. Yeah. Because a band-aid is basically an artificial callus. Yeah. Or a scab. Watch out, or like, I don't know. Because why would that be so bad? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe it's more that um, I'll say, like, oh, I don't really like that stuff. Mm. And I'll say, like, oh, you, just you watch as you learn guitar, and you'll like it. Maybe they're just trying to be, like, annoying as all hell. No, they're not being annoying. They're being very helpful, actually. But they just say, like, be, you have to be prepared to. Um, like things that you didn't like before. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's reasonable. It's reasonable. 
I think in general, just, you know. I've, I've heard it repeated so many times, it's like, it's like, should I be scared of liking, like, if I like yeah. something, what's the problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything, I mean drugs is the obvious thing that like, I like drugs but I don't want to like drugs, but I don't see how like, I like this band but I don't want to like. Oh, no, I've had stuff like that before. Like, like, with what? Oh, with like pop bands and. Yeah, like and, and when I discovered that I actually really love meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> It's all gone now, but... No, no, which is kind of funny. I, I ate a lot of it. It was really good. I'm glad you like... You like... I don't, I think you're on different medication than me, um, and I'm not sure if what I'm describing is actually what I'm experiencing, but sometimes I have the sensation of like, you know, do you have, can you, can you wrap your head around the idea of like, like, say your thought, your thoughts, your thoughts are in a, are a ball of, <sighs> Your, uh, your, your thoughts are uh, a ball made out of elastic bands, right? Okay. So, um, you can pull a single elastic ball band uh, from the ball. The ball will maintain its coherency as a coherent ball. Um, I have no idea how you make rubber band balls. I don't understand how you start them. But you've seen them before. Yes, yeah, so but I've never understood how you begin them. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's not this important not to the story. To <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, so, <coughs> so, say you have a say. Um, how your thought process operates is you have this ball of elastic bands, and I don't think I have the ability to really choose what I'm thinking about. But say you had the ability to choose. Okay, I'm going to pull on this elastic band. So that, that, that elastic band has been pulled, and the pulling of that band is what forms the thought. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, so meanwhile, the ball itself maintains a coherent shape. Yes. So if mental dysfunction is pulling on an elastic band, and the band snaps, or even pulling on so many bands that the ball just falls apart, like that's mental disorder. They still got the rubber bands though. Yeah, anyways, um, so that being said, what medication does is 
when you pull a elastic band from the ball, it makes it more difficult to pull it past the breaking point. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can that. That is a decent metaphor. Yes. It's like the diathesis stress model of mental disorder. <laughs> I thought... The diathesis stress model is basically, um, here, let me draw you like the world's fastest, shittiest graph. Okay, well, ba okay, basically what it is, diathesis means like pre-existing likelihood of getting a mental disorder, mm -hmm. um, which, which involves genetic things in your childhood and all, shit, all that shit. Um, and then there's your stress level, which is completely independent of, well, not completely independent of that, but basically the theory is that, um, oh god, this is open tape. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can shut up and I can keep It's by John Abella, who's a really great prof. Anyway, <laughs> um, basically the theory is that, like, here's the, here's the, like, for an average person, um, your line starts at zero, zero, and like the likelihood of you getting a mental disorder increases with stress. Yeah. And there's a point at which anybody will get it. But if you have diathesis, it's like a lower level of stress would give you the mental disorder, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I'm not explaining it very well. But I understand what you say, but I don't understand how it compares to... It sounded like a similar thing. Oh, uh, okay. That, that, um, yeah. Do you, do you no, I understand. I understand. So I, now I'm getting worried about no, 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 I guess. You're <laughs> I got, oh, I brought it up because I felt like I was. Exp okay, uh, the reason why I brought up that rubber band bottle mm -hmm. um, is because Your I feel. Your fingers hurt. <laughs> no, uh, I, I feel like sometimes. Well, I've told you about like the intoxicating effect of the guitar. But also yeah. that sometimes, like, I'm, I'll be in the process of learning, and my learning mechanism, I guess, I would have to guess, um, like, if I were to really excel at learning, um, I would start to activate a hypomanic state. Yeah. And, um... So, I'm like, okay, I got this, that was great, okay, I got this, Th that was great, now let's do this! And like, if I were in the hypomatic state, I would progress through uh, the, the scales that I have to go through to learn, uh, faster and smoother. Okay. So, I'm progressing through the scales and I go like, oh, I got this, I got this, this is great! And then I feel the effects of the medication, uh, Prevented my hypomatic state from uh, progressing in the learning process. I have to pee. Go ahead. I love you. You can just yell, okay? <laughs> progressing in the learning process, and uh, it, what happens is I basically hit a wall. That's a very nice hum. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it independent of medication? I don't know, man. Nothing's independent of anything here, right? No, but I'm saying you said hitting the wall is natural. That's the thing, that like, there comes to a point where your memory can't form any new memories. So it may have nothing to do with my mental disorder. Right. Okay. Thank you.
did you go to the very delicious Coca-Cola beverage? Yes, you did. What? I was asking if you went to the delicious oh, yes. Coca-Cola beverage store. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Plus, like, if, if those jerks are going to watch my videos, I can make, I can say whatever, I can make my video be about whatever I want my video to be about. <laughs> like how much you hate redheads. No. You hate gingers. Why do you say that? Because you hate gingers. Why do you say that? Because that's the only, that's like the only thing I think of saying that you hate without getting you oh. in trouble. Oh yeah. Good point. <laughs> I hate the flying spaghetti monster. No, you cannot hate the flying spaghetti monster. It's very silly. No, but that's an even more abstract. Like, there could be redheads who would legitimately get angry at, like, if, if, if you said you hated them? I suppose. You remember that South Park episode? Yes. <laughs> there 